Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, today I want to talk to you about turning aside. We get so used to doing our everyday routine, whether it's picking up the kids, taking them to school, going to the grocery store, doing our job every day. We get consumed with just doing everything we want, everything we want to do every day. But you know, Moses turned aside. And I think we're gonna to have to learn a lesson that we need to kind of just turn aside. In Exodus 3, 3, this is what Moses said. Moses says, I will now turn aside and see, and see, and listen to what he says, I'm going to see the great sight and why this bush is not burning. You see, sometimes we need to stop what we're doing and turn aside and take a look and see what God is doing in your life. Instead of all the natural things, turn aside and see the supernatural things. See the things God is doing in your life. Instead of seeing all the sickness, turn aside and looking to see what God is doing. Instead of all the work that you have, the, the consuming thoughts and problems that you have, turn aside and see what God is saying. You see, we need to turn aside, stop whatever we're doing, and listen to the voice of God. We need to stop and hear what he's saying, what he's doing in your life. Start seeing the supernatural in your life instead of everything that's so natural. You see, we may not see ever in our life a burning bush but see God gives us signs and he gives us things he gives us his voice he gives us his presence he's he's leading and guiding you so we need to turn aside to the things of God turn aside to what he's doing in your life and start seeing on a different level start seeing the things in the supernatural what God is doing in your life instead of just your normal procedure every day start looking beyond and see something different turn aside Amen and amen. Let me pray for you. If you are feeling sick and you, um, you're having problems in your body and in your mind, let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I come against every sickness in the name of Jesus, every coronavirus, Lord God, in the name of Jesus that's coming against people, the sickness, the illness, the, uh, the coughing, the indigestion, the pain in their body. The general feeling of no energy i come against that in the name of jesus for lord god you are a mighty god and the god who made the body heals the body and i come i profess and decree and declare that all virus has to leave that body in the name of jesus health and healing has to come in and replace it in the name of jesus holy spirit send out the angels to minister to all these people that are sick in the name of jesus we thank you, Lord God, that knees that are healed, backs that are healed, and line up with the Word of God, that you can walk all feelings of, of, of loss and of, of insecurity and in the, in the things that make you feel like you're not valued, depression, discontent, discouragement. I come against those in the name of Jesus, and that's all from the devil. So, Lord God, I push that aside out of their mind, and I put in the mind the, the words of God that says, I love you, I will never leave you or forsake you. You are blessed, you are highly favored. I have seated you in heavenly places. You are a child of God. Thank you, Lord God, for healing the body, healing headaches, ears that can't hear, eyes that can't see are now open in the name of Jesus. Indigestion problems are gone in the name of Jesus. Elbows and wrists in the name of Jesus are healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that you bless your people, you heal your people. Remember, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Press share me with someone, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.